Hello, welcome to day two of our October movement challenge. So day two, we're gonna focus on a slow and steady vinyasa paced class. Um, as we've been trying to do, we're gonna keep these classes under 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes for the entire week. And I'm happy you're starting off strong. So what we're doing with uh, the movement or the classes here as well, we're connecting it to a limiting belief. So the limiting belief we're going to focus on today will be um, the simple act, the simple statement of I'm not worthy. So I'm not worthy of X, Y, Z. Maybe you think you're not worthy of that big promotion at work. You're not worthy of that partner. You're not worthy of that trip. You're not worthy uh, of that yoga retreat. All the things that can go under that big umbrella of worthiness. Um, and that's something we all deal with, right? I can't tell you how many conversations Kirsten and I have had with one another as we continue to build up our business of, uh, you know, are we worthy of this? Are we worthy to hold space for you all? Space for you all? Are we worthy uh, of that vision that we both see so clearly in our head? The answer is yes, and the answer is yes to you as well. But I think it's just... Um, it's our tendency as humans to want to protect ourselves, and by protecting ourselves, we think of what could go wrong, what uh, the worries that come with the next step, the next level. And when we learn to sit with that for a minute, when we learn to rewire that, that's when we can focus on, wait, no, 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 like this is just um, habitual tendencies. This is just norm for how we think, how we feel, how we act, how we believe. And if that's something you believe, why isn't that something that we can, you can rewire to a greater good, a greater purpose, a greater, bigger meaning for your life, right? So yeah, I think that's good. I think that's a good way to slide us into class. Um, so like I said, I'm going to call this one our slow and steady vinyasa paced class. Um, I don't have any props. That does not mean you won't need any props. So if you know you need a blanket for the knees or if you know the ground is super far away in most poses for you, maybe you'll bring your blocks into play. You can always kind of set them at the edge of your mat and just use them to uh, your discretion. So yeah, take the class. Let us know how it lands in our chat. Get extra points for sharing on your Instagram, sharing with others. Uh, and it's going to be a really fun week. So. Let's get right to it. Let's start in child's pose. So once you settle in this child's pose position, fingertips will crawl forward, hips will sink back. You breathe into your sides, breathe into your back body. Allow the breath to get a little bit longer, a little bit deeper here. And really give yourself an actual moment to let your day wash away, your evening, your morning, wherever you are while you're taking this class, be here. We'll start with two full breaths in together. So empty out where you are. Now full breath in, breathe deep. Expand your sides, back of your ribs. Hold for three. For two, part your lips, let it go. Find one more here with me. Big, full, steady breath in through your nose. A little bit more, open up your sides, your chest, your belly, hold three, two, and one, let it go. We're gonna move this into a little side stretch. So go ahead and crawl your hands over towards the left side of your space, anchor back down through your right sit bone. You might stay here, focus on reaching through your right fingertips as you square down your right shoulder. Or you might even place your left hand in line with your left shoulder so you're bending that elbow a little bit, getting deeper into the side body stretch. Now gently make your way back towards center and we'll switch our sides right on out, crawling the hands over towards the right side of your space. Let yourself settle for a moment, anchoring down the left sit bone, gluing down that left hand. And you either focus on reaching through both of those hands, both of those arms, or you might bend your right elbow, bringing that right hand in line with your shoulder. Now 
nice and easy, we come back towards center together. Your palms are going to kiss, then your thumbs are going to chase the nape of your neck. So keep driving your elbows into the mat as you breathe into your triceps, breathe into your pecs. Giving the shoulders, the chest a moment here. Palms press into one another. One more breath. Wonderful. Steadily unwind. Let your palms press into the mat one more time. Breath in. And breath out. <sighs> Go ahead and flow right on into that tabletop pose. Shoulders in line with your wrist. Hips are in line with your knees. Look at your hands for a moment here, my friends. Index fingers, they point towards the top of your mat, so it leaves our other three fingers more towards the edge of your mat. Gluing down the elbows of your hands, spiral your elbows forward, eyes of your elbows forward rather, so the triceps come on forward too. And then start cruising through the shoulders. So make some circles here, warm up the wrist. And make sure you explore rotating both sides. So starting with the left, starting with the right. Good, meet me on back into that tabletop pose. And just like that child's pose stretch, we're gonna crawl our hands towards the left side of our mat. So you're cinching through that left side and you're elongating through the right side. We got three rounds of cat-cow. So breath in, belly drops, gaze will shift. Breath out, you push. Two more here with me, breath in. Breath out. Last full round, inhale. And exhale. Good, unwind, bring it back to tabletop pose, move the hips for a second, shift the hips left, shift, shift them right. And then we bring it towards the right edge of our mat, cinching that right side, inhale, belly drops. Exhale, push. Find two more like that here with me, inhale, belly drops. Exhale, push. Beautiful, our last round. And we push. Bring it on back, neutral tabletop pose. For the sake of viewing purposes, let's start with that left side. Left foot extends out towards the left side of your space. Seal the outer edge blade of that foot down. Left hand stays planted, right arm's gonna lift, and I want you just to reach over towards the right side of your space. Find one more inhale, and now as we exhale, thread it through so you drop that right shoulder down. Left hand can crawl towards the top of your mat. You might even find comfort in letting this left hand chase your right hip crease behind you. Maybe it's your lower back. But do bring a focus on that extended leg here as you let your right shoulder blade get heavy. And we have two full breaths. Now gently unwind if you had some, some type of bind. Right arm reaches towards the right side of your space. And then back to your neutral tabletop pose. One cat cow, unwind the spine. and then bring it back towards neutral. We extend that right leg towards the right side of our space. Seal the outer edge blade down. Left arm's gonna reach just slightly, and then exhale, thread it through. Left shoulder blade will drop, hips stay up nice and high. Shut down your eyes, focus on your breath, focus on your reach, and focus on grounding into your right foot. Now we gently unwind, right hand's gonna plant, left arm's gonna reach just slightly, and then back to your tabletop pose. Now before we find this down dog, I want you to tuck your toes. We're not gonna find toe pose, but I do want you to stretch out the bottoms of your feet for a moment. So let your hips sink back towards your heels as you push your palms into the mat, tuck your chin towards your chest. So breathe into the bottom of your feet, and also shake your head, yes, no. Up, down, left, right. And then gently come back to that tabletop pose. Keep the toes tucked. Lift the knees. Find that down dog. You bend, you sway, you lift, you push. Let the eyes go in between your thighs. Relaxing the neck. Drop the neck. Notice if you can feel that lift through your shoulders as you find your drive. And let your heels get heavy towards the ground beneath you. They do not have to touch the ground. We got three rounds of spinal waves that we'll find here too. So from your downward facing dog, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, back down dog. 
two more here. Inhale, plank pose. You got this. You are worthy. Exhale, down, down. Last one. Inhale, plank pose. And exhale, down dog. Beautiful job. Let's inhale that right foot up nice and high. Low lunge pose as you exhale. So you step in between your thumbs, drop your left knee. Inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high. Notice if you can pull that right hip back just slightly. Drop the shoulders. So shoulder blades kind of descend down and they squeeze together here too. Breath in, gaze high. Breath out, bend in cactus. Good, inhale, we reach. Exhale, half split pose. Hands come down, push your hips back, flex your right toes back towards your face. Give your hamstrings a moment to wake up. Now come back into your right knee. Tuck your back left toes. Meet me back in that down dog. Breath or two. Now left foot's on the move. As you inhale, it reaches. And as you exhale, it steps through. Right knee's gonna land gently. Arms sweep up high as you find that inhale. Drive your thumb, thumbs behind. Pinky spiral in just slightly. And relax into the space for a moment. Full inhale with your reach. And as you exhale, bend in cactus. Inhale, find that length. And now exhale, find your half split pose. Hands come down. Hippies will push on back. If you have blocks and you like them, blocks under your hands right now would be a beautiful addition too. Come back into our left knee, little change here. Left foot's gonna step back to meet your right plank pose. Beautiful time to think of that limiting belief. If you don't think you can be here, you can absolutely be here. You can always drop the knees too to find a different variation. I want you to feel strong here. Strong and worthy and capable Dome your shoulders, find your breath, drive your heels back. We're here for four. You can do anything for four seconds. Three, two, and down dog on one. Nice job. Breath in, breath out. Let a sigh go. One more inhale. And exhale. Now this inhale, your right foot's going to lift up nice and high here one more time. As you exhale, we step in between the thumbs. You're finding a high lunge crescent pose. So for the sake of time, I, I want to keep this short, 15, 20 minutes. We're going to do this one right side, left side. Hold the poses for a minute. You're going to digest the poses. Your body will get used to the poses. We'll flow it through once. And I might give you a twist or something to slow it down, my friends. I'm just happy that you made it to your mat today. So I want you to be able to complete this class. So we're going to keep it nice and short. Arms go up high if they're not there yet. Reach through your skull. Left heel, very powerful. You lift it up, you bring it forward. Inner thighs glued together here slightly. The core is active, like if I were here punching your belly, which I would never do, but if I were, you know how you'd kind of uh, like tense up, get ready for it? That's where I want your core. Inhale, reach. Exhale, airplane your arms so your hands come behind you, palms face the ground. Shoulders will drive away from the ears. You're reaching like crazy towards the back of your mat. You're either gonna stay here if you want to, but if you wanna play, if you wanna have some fun, you're gonna lean, you're gonna float, you're gonna lift up that left foot. Just for the sake of the camera, so I can make sure you still see me. You gotta lift up your chest as much as you lift up that leg behind you, so you're nice and centered, nice and even. Say hello to that right quad, breath in. Now with control, place your left foot down, we come back to that high lunge crescent pose. Good job. Big inhales, you reset. Exhale, you twist right. Left arm's reaching forward, right arm's reaching behind. Shoulders try to stay in line with the hips. Torso's turning, hips are squared. Find one more breath in, grow taller. Breath out, sink down. Now you're gonna reverse that warrior, so drop your back left heel. Inhale, reverse your warrior, big reach. Recommit to that bend in your right knee, very active through that thigh. Let an exhale bring you to that side angle pose. Right forearm, right thigh, they meet. Left arm's gonna reach up overhead. See if you can find some length as you rotate your torso towards the ceiling. Go ahead and gaze up here with me, breath in. Breath out, left hand plants, left heel pops, left knee drops, huh, that's so funny. And then twist, uh, twist into your runner's lunge, or your low lunge, twist into the slow lunge, reach behind. 
I feel way too cool and I can rhyme like that one. One more breath in, feel your collarbones expand. And now breath out, right hand comes back to the top of your mat, tuck your back, left toes, come back to that down dog. From your downward facing dog, inhale plank pose, exhale lower to your chaturanga if you want it today, inhale up dog, exhale back down dog. Nice work my friends, let's do that left side, left foot's gonna lift, exhale steps you through. High lunge, crescent pose, you rise. Always a good pro tip if you feel like super like wobbling all over the place, widen that stance out a little bit, right? Hands go high, find your reach, drop the shoulders. Make sure you're not trying to anxiously lean forward so we stay back, we stay centered, we stay present here. One more inhale, reach. Exhale, airplane those arms, float your right foot if you want. it. A little airplane action, finding your balance, finding your stability. Steady breath, steady mind. Good, plant your right foot back down. Inhale, high lunge. And exhale, twist left. Twisting over your left knee. Recommit to that bend in your left knee. I just had to myself. And we lift up tall with the breath in. Breath out, we settle. Reverse that warrior. Drop your right heel. Reach up and behind with your left arm. Big inhale. Feel nice and expansive through your left side, through the left ribs. Exhale, side angle pose, left forearm, left thigh, right arm reaches. Bicep will frame your ear. Left shoulder, left ear, they do not meet, so you have that core helping you work to find that lift. Let's plant that right hand, pop off your right heel, right knee drops, and then inhale, backstroke through your left arm, find that low lunge twist. Bring a smile to the face, be like, wow, I'm so worthy, this is so cool, I love my life, I love me. Now bring that left hand back and find your down dog. Wonderful, my friends. Let's do a little chaturanga and we'll do that one more time breath to movement. So inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, back down dog. Stay with me, stay with me. Shut down your eyes. Breath in. Breath out. Now we got this one more time. Inhale to your exhale. When you're ready, right foot will lift. Exhale, step it through. Slow and steady with your pace. Inhale, rise, high lunge. We're gonna float right away with that exhale. So float, lift up your left foot. And we gently place it back down. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, twist right. Reverse that warrior, paint the sky, reach behind. Right to your side angle, right forearm, right thigh. Gaze down, bring that left hand down, bring that left knee down, low lunge twist. You got this, stick with your pace. And then right hand comes back forward. Right foot steps back to meet your left, down dog. No funny business, my friends. Left foot's gonna lift, left foot goes up. Exhale in between the thumbs. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Two part move here as you exhale, arms sweep behind, you float. Very nice, stick with it, steady breath. You're here, you're connected. Right foot plants, arms reach high. Exhale, twist left. Reverse that warrior, plant your back heel, reach up. Right to that side angle pose. Gaze down, right hand down, left arm reaches, right knee lands, find that low lunge pose, good. Now when you're ready, left hand comes back. Step it back to a plank pose. You're here, you got this lower halfway down. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, back down dog. Last time we're here, breath in, breath out. Good, lift up the heels, drop the knees, cross the ankles, and come to a wide-legged forward fold. I'm leaving you here, AKA my dream in every class ever, honestly. Wide-legged forward fold with me. Since I'm leaving you here, I want you to move a little bit for a second. So think of bringing the chest forward. I even did this this morning in class. If you want to do a little side stretch, side stretch action, it could feel nice to lean over towards the right, towards the left for a moment. And then eventually you come to that wide-legged forward fold and you just hang out here, my friends. I'm encouraging you to hang out a little bit longer if you even have two or three minutes to stay here. 
Well, also want to thank you for uh, joining us this afternoon, this morning, this evening, whenever you take day two of our movement challenge. And like I said, you did the class, you're worthy of the class, you're worthy of this challenge. Um, and you learn a lot on your mat, so I feel very grateful and I feel very honored that you get to learn it here with me and with Kirst at Rooted Renewal Wellness. See you tomorrow. <sighs>